Okay, today we will read the book called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Merry Mutants. A massive blizzard has shut down New York City. After a long day of training, the turtles decided to hit the snowy streets with their brand new snowboards. Ukaya Kasha hollered Mikey as he Uyakasha. Uyakasha flipped through the air. Everyone was having a blast except Leonardo. Oh, what happened to Leo? I can't believe I broke my favorite sword today, grumbled Leo. Come on, snap out of it, said Ralph. Yeah, relax, added Donnie. It's the holiday season. Leo ignored his brothers. Nothing they said would make him feel better. His brothers looked at each other. They had to figure out a way to get Leo out of his funk. Across town, Casey Jones had the hockey ring to himself. He zipped across the ice, sending slappers and wrist shots into the net. He shoots, he scores, yelled Casey. He didn't realize someone else was there. April O'Neil rushed out of the shadows. Hey, Red, Casey said, what are you doing here? I think I'm being followed, April replied nervously. Without warning, a rink wall exploded. Footbots plowed through the dusty opening. Run, yelled April, and let, and let you have all the fun, Casey replied, teeing up a puck. He unleashed a wicked shot that cracked an attacking robot in the head. April called Donnie on her T phone. T so stands for turtle phone. We're on the way, promised Donnie. The turtles wasted no time. They slid into action on their snowboards. Donnie did a front side spin off a guardrail and flipped into the air. Mikey rolled the icy edge of a fire escape, then soared over a snow covered trash bin. This is awesome, he replied. Ralph barreled into the arena, jumped over the boards, and skidded across the ice. Whoa! He crashed into two footballs, sending have, them flying. Why does Leo have two swords? Because he broke his first sword. His, his favorite sword, but why he had two swords in this picture. I don't know. That's kind of weird, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice check, Casey Ray. Called. Ralph's brothers followed him onto the ice and helped battle the robots. A footbot slid into Casey, taking him by surprise. One of its saws sliced at his face. April quickly delivered a series of slide kicks that dropped the mechanical ninja. Casey gave her a gap tooth smile. You've got some rink rage, Red. Donnie finished off the last spot with a bow strike. The bot fell to the ice in a sizzling, sparkling heat. I think we deserve some pizza, Mikey declared, and everyone agreed. April, Casey, and the turtle stepped out of the arena. The snowy street was blocked by more footbots and a massive mechanical ninja wielding a plasma sword. April and Casey huddled the footbots while Mike snagged the giant robot with a chain from his nunchucks. Take that, Chrome Dome! The rest of the turtles knew Mikey couldn't defeat this metallic opponent alone. It was time for some turtle teamwork! Ralph jabbed the robot with his sigh as Donnie leaped onto its back. Using his staff, he pried open a panel on the robot's back and pulled out a fistful of wires. 
The bot spun and sparked. It lost its sword. Leo saw his chance. He grabbed the glowing blade and charged. One slizzing slice halted the robot. Well, he has his sword in his hand. Yeah. Just got the other swords in there. He's using his broken sword. The battle was over. For the first time all night, a smile appeared on Leo's face. He liked the weight and feel of the robot's blade that belonged to the robot honey. It buzzed and crackled with electric energy. Oh. Nice, he said to himself. Guess someone got his present a little early, said Donnie. Good thing, because Leo was totally bringing down my vibe, dude, added Mikey. These guys didn't stand a chance, April said as they surveyed the defeated robots. I think that's enough fighting for today, Leo said. I don't know, Mikey said with a sly smile. There's always time for a snowball fight. Mikey Peg grabbed with a snowball, then took off on his board. Dr. Frankenstein strikes again, he yelled as his brothers chased him all the way home. That was a good story.